Hey, today I'm going to show you how to calibrate an adjustable pressure switch. This is the NS2 version from Cleveland Controls. It comes with a variety of springs and orifices and for this demo purpose we're actually just going to choose the natural spring which is from 0.30 to 0.90. So you put the spring in, go ahead and take your adjustment screw and put that in as well and go ahead and turn this in uh, a, a little bit just to get it started. Basically the same thing that you would do in a test. You're going to hook up the hoses to the top of the DDSM1 and you're going to take the leads and plug them into the front of the DDSM1. Now we're going to take one of the hoses and we're going to go, because we're using the SDMN5 from Philpiece, we're going to use the P1 and plug it in. Uh, we're going to go ahead and plug this into the negative side of the pressure switch. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to make sure this is all the way open before you start your test and you also want to make sure that this is zeroed out. So we're going to go ahead and turn this on and we're going to zero out the SDMN5. Okay, so once we've done that we're going to turn this on um, and we're going to um, make sure that we want to do this in low speed because anything under inch and a half water column we want in low. That's high. We're going to go to low. So we're in low speed right now. This is pretty simple. What we're going to do is pay attention to the manometer. We're looking at this lower uh, column which is negative pressure and we're going to hold our uh, pressure switch in the um, vertical position. Okay, so Go ahead and take your leads, plug one into the common terminal, and then of course one into the normally open terminal. All right, now since we're calibrating this, we're going to go ahead and adjust our pressures up to where we want this to go. So we're going to go ahead and turn this in uh, clockwise to change the pressure to the reading that we want it to be. Notice the LED came on, doesn't matter at this point. We're going to take this up to a 0.80. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and adjust the adjustment screw until the LED on the DDSM1 turns off. And there we have it, you have a 0.80 inches of water column pressure switch.